I too was appalled when I sat on the budget committee and found out that the Defense Department is the only department that can't get through an audit. And uh, the point I used to push with the budget committee was, well, let's get started someplace. I mean, take, take a department, take a segment of a department, anything to begin to understand how the military spends its budget. Do you think that's, with what they do and much of the secrecy they work under, whether it's legitimate or not, do you think that's ever possible? Well, I think it, you know, we would have to make a concerted effort, and I have to tell you, the, the look of fear, and I'm, I'm being very honest here, the fear and the anger I saw on the faces of, of General Patrick Hughes and Admiral Wilson when we provided the information that I'm going to provide for you and, and which was provided to these people, as well as CI Director Woolsey, it was palpable because they realized that there was this very deep secret national security state that even they, who were supposed to be looking out after our best interests, were being denied access to. And when I asked the Admiral, Admiral Wilson, the head of intelligence joint staff, to please you know, try to get control of this, he looked at me, he says, my understanding now is that the best thing I have is a B-2 stealth. What this secret organization has are things that can do circles around it. I'm outgunned. He also said that until the civilian leaders of the government order him to do something, the Secretary of Defense and the President, he can only do so much. But we couldn't get President Clinton to lean into this for reasons well, a friend, I don't, I don't know if I want to even go into that. Okay. But, but it's for security reasons, safety reasons. So I think that you know, this is the sort of problem you run into. And, and General Patrick Hughes went over to a shelf. Now, this is the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, huge. And he said, this is all I've ever gotten from the Defense Intelligence Agency chain of command and my inquiries in this subject. And he had a little E.T. doll, brought it a, 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 a toy store. And we all laughed but wanted to cry. Yeah. So, so here you have an ad, a, a general and an admiral and a CIA director. And these people were not just picking my brain trying to figure out what I knew. They honestly were being denied access. How can this be? How can it be? Well, and that's what I found in the hearing when I asked about how, how do we get to that place where they can go through an audit. It was, I mean, it was sort of a big joke, like, well, we're never going to be able to do that, so there. Well, one of the reasons is this, and, and th this is going to have to get reformed somehow. I know an auditor for my uncle's old company, Northrop Grumman. He said, basically, if you're dealing with one of these unacknowledged projects, they will tell you, well, we have an undisclosed amount of money doing an undisclosed project, and you don't have a need to know. And they will then just rubber stamp what's going into Northrop Grumman or Lockheed Martin or Science Applications International Corporation or MITRE Corporation. Now, I have a whole list. One of the sections in here that I'll provide for you, and, and uh, Congressman Christopher Cox, who later became Bush's um, head of the SEC, asked me to put this together for him. And it's a list of the facilities and corporations and subcorporations and subfacilities where this activity is going on. This is actionable intelligence if anyone wants to follow up on it. So yes, you can find out. We have found out. But it's something that would have to be a concerted effort under subpoena power by people who would not take no for an answer. And that I think the people deserve. Thank you.